Good tidings to you, fellow dragon. We had five epic days with 3x event and many of you ventured on the land of the Golden Castle in Lolan map, so I will talk in this video about this dungeon. This dungeon is both for Kai Kung roles and for warriors that are physical roles. This dungeon is a team effort. Some of the mobs are easy to kill by Kai Kung roles and others easy to tank by warriors. The level of mobs are from 253 to 257. In Nine Dragons the monsters have their own clans and Golden Castle monsters belong to the clan of Golden War. This clan loves gold. Lots and lots of gold. They use their wealth to buy any mercenaries they wish, or to dispose of anyone in their way. They also love to buy secret elixirs and tomes of legendary martial arts to enhance the power and skills of the clan members. In fact, any adventurer managing to get to their treasure room would find items of unimaginable wealth. But first you have to get past the mercenaries. These mercenaries have many different skills but all are united by their greed. Here you will find the biggest range of weapons arrayed against you of any part of the game. Golden War members use spears, poison needles, mine skills and bows as long-range attacking weapons. A swift and skilled defense is necessary to avoid death from a distance. Mercenaries are also selected to be physically strong to do the most damage in close-range combat. Only highly skilled players can confront any of these clan members and live. At the head of the clan is Wang Dai. He looks daring and powerful, but the stories go around that he is really just a timid and weak man with a love of gold. But whoever is the real power behind the clan, they are not foolish. Knowing that they possess plenty of wealth, they have guarded their treasure room very well. When you see the gold-loving demon that guards the first passage to the treasure room you may be inclined to smile, and think that this will be easy. But don't be fooled by his smiling face. This demon loves gold so much that he even uses gold coins as a weapon to crush players to death. The second guard also loves gold so much that plated himself with gold and always wears a golden lion. Mask. But his martial arts skills are awesome and none but the best will defeat him. Following the story, when you use the fighting skills in Nine Dragons you will find that not all moves work against all enemies, because they have their own skills and defense. Some of these monsters are more susceptible to weapons moves than others, and some need to be fought with Kai Kung skills. You need to experiment with your techniques to be able to defeat all the monsters, that is why you need all the martial artists in your team. Back to the dungeon, in the first room we have the Kai Kung monsters, then in the other room, the mini laughing face are Kai Kung and bosses physical. On the third room mini golden shell are physical and bosses also physical. Katanas are physical and also Jinji bosses are physical. In the last room the monsters are Kai Kung and the two Xiao Mundo bosses and two golden touch bosses are physical. The experience rate is better than School of Rising Sun for Hai Hai and his characters. Mobs and bosses drops a lot of banners, fragments for GC plate, mats for crafting different items, golden beads, the ancient relic, beads of storm, seal beads, small, medium, large and excellence. Also, you get a lot of event potatoes and the three loot rooms gives you high rewards from the big chests. The mobs do not draw passes like in other revamped dungeons. With the high drop rate of banners and seal beads, the prices for these items drop a lot. Blue banner that was around 1,500,000 drop to 9,000 and medium beads drop from 1,200,000 to 600,000. Till next time, have a safe journey in the land, because death has had no victory, grasshopper.